Okay, so we are getting closer and closer to the third quarter earnings and there is some noise on the street which is looking great for SoFi. Now, Fed announced that they will start tapering this month and market just shrugged it off because so much was already built in. But with the tapering and higher interest rate, we can say that companies like SoFi can benefit. But that's coming next year. Today, we are talking about third quarter and what will SoFi bring. So in this video, we'll do exactly that. So let's get into the video right away. And if you enjoy videos like this, then consider subscribing and hit the like button. And do me a favor and comment below what are your thoughts on SoFi's third quarter earning as I will be sharing some numbers and let me know if you agree with those numbers. Okay, so here it is. So Lending Club came out and gave us blockbuster earnings. I mean, their estimated revenue was between 215 to 230 million and they blew past their top end and gave us 246 point, right here was their top end, and they gave us 246.2 million in revenue. This is super exciting and very bullish for SoFi. Here's how. So Lending Club's amazing revenue came out as a result of 14% jump in their loan department, if you compare it from second quarter, which had actually jumped 84% sequentially from the first quarter. So their unsecured personal loans were high in demand. Now, if we talk about SoFi, these loans represent 37% of SoFi's portfolio. And most likely we will see similarly strong momentum as we saw a 61% gain from the first quarter to the second quarter. And to be honest, Lending Club's earning really changed my outlook for SoFi's earning. So now I'm feeling more and more positive that we are going to see some really, really strong positive outlook or future guidance from SoFi. Now, another update which will be really exciting that we are going to get is this. The student loan federal assistance will end on January 31st, 2022. And with that comes all the lost revenue that SoFi has been dealing with. And this is what they will get back right here on your screen. So number one, all the suspended loan payment will be resumed right here. Number two, they will start charging interest rate on the loan. And lastly, they will be able to collect all defaulted loans right here. So this will be huge as majority of SoFi's revenue is from student loans. Now we know that they're building new products and have higher fee that they have to pay on loans. So in the short term, their adjusted EBITDA margin is expected to fall below the historical average, but that's going to drastically improve if and when SoFi will start operating as a bank. So that's the only downside I see in this earning is an adjusted EBITDA will be less. Now, the screenshot I shared in my last video suggests that we have about 12% user growth. So that means we are getting close to about 3 million users on SoFi, which is really exciting. Along with that, I also expect an amazing growth on the financial product side. Now, last time they told us that they had about 79 million members on Galileo, and I can totally see this number to go beyond 80 million in the third quarter earning. This is amazing as Galileo members has low acquisition cost and higher margins. Amazing all around. So here's the wrap. Number one, their estimate of 245 to 255 million in third quarter looks possible and very attainable. Number two, their financial services will come out strong and will have a triple digit product gains. Number three, monthly active users will grow about 12%, now which is also amazing. And lastly, number four, Galileo account could cross 80 million. So I was feeling that we are going to see a soft earnings, but now looking at what Lending Club has given us and also how the overall market is, I feel we will see some great guidance for fourth quarter. And remember, usually the stock reacts more on the future expectation. So let's get ready and see what SoFi will give us. I have some open position, which I will get out and some new positions that I will open after the earnings and we'll make a video on that, of course. As always, an absolute pleasure to share all of this with you. Also, happy Diwali to all who celebrate. I will be taking off for the rest of the week to be with the family and be as excited as I used to be when I was a kid. Man, I used to go crazy with the fireworks and sweets. And it's so much fun to relive all that with my boys. If you like the video, then hit the like button and consider subscribing. I will link my SoFi and three-part series over here. Do check it out for more information on this company and the stock. Thank you for watching. Until next time, you all have a sparkling day.